Have you ever wanted to print a nuclear reactor? What about a bridge? What about a submarine? How about even a table leg? Well, for all of those, you might want to print metal. This is the Rotoforge project. And we've modified this Ender 3 to use friction welding to print aluminum without any additional heat, any gas, any laser, or any melting for under 500 bucks. We're pulling wire off of these large rolls through a custom pinch wheel extruder, and that's getting pushed through a Bowden tube and to the actual deposition head. The print head consists of a heated wire guide that feeds the aluminum wire into the contact patch underneath a turned down high speed steel saw blade. Using a flex shaft hand piece, which is connected to a die grinder motor, we can spin the saw blade at about 30,000 RPM. This is enough to plasticize aluminum and to stir it into the underlying aluminum substrate, allowing us to build up parts. Using a step up transformer, we've boosted the motor voltage up to 220 volts and we're controlling it with this variable thyristor. All of this together is enough to let us use friction welding to print aluminum on a relatively available frame for under 500 bucks. It's great. It just has one little downside. It's a little loud. Average line width, one and a half millimeters. Average layer thickness, about 0.1. Overhangs, well, we're working on them right now. See our longer video for that. Can we print backwards? No. Can we print sideways? Actually, yeah, we kind of can. Again, see our longer video for more details on that. So why friction welding? Well, there are some material properties that melt processes just can't access. And there are some material syntheses that we're interested in doing in the future. Plus, the metal actually gets stronger as we print it. We're directionally forging the grains. There's a lot of cool possibilities here. And we're doing this all entirely open loop. But remember, always be careful around rapidly rotating machinery. Eye and ear protection are highly recommended, and some kind of enclosure or guard is definitely a necessity. Would you like to know more? Click on the link in the screen in order to see our full length video. Also, down in the description you can find the bomb, the GitHub, and a link to our Discord community. Thanks, and go print some metal.